going on folks today is an unboxing slash new release blu-ray haul and boy do i got a bunch to show y'all usually i would not wait this long to purchase movies anybody that knows me knows that as soon as a movie hits blu-ray and if i've seen it in theaters if i like it i grab it right away but because i love you guys i decided to wait feeling special don't you <laughs> but all kidding aside i really do love y'all and which is why i'm doing it this way and there's a lot that I got had to get caught up on that I saved for this special occasion. Most of these I bought in stores, but I do have a few actual unboxings that I ordered online that I'll start this video off with. So let's get started. All right. Oldie but a goodie, and I did a review for this on my channel earlier. Hellraiser. Now, I do have a double feature of one and two, but this is from a company called Arrow Video, and it's got a bunch of special features. It's got commentaries by the director, Clyde Barker, and other commentaries by the actors, actresses, and actors that played in it. Leviathan, the story of Hellraiser, a brand new version of the definitive documentary on the making of Hellraiser, and a bunch of other special features that my other copy didn't have. And when you buy a movie and you're as much as a movie lover as I am, that's what it is there. Yeah, you watch the movie and you take pleasure in it. But yeah, if you like movies as much as I do and like the filmmaking process, go for the special features as best as the company, whatever releases it, release. All right, let's see how this is. So you got the back side there. Sorry about that, guys. In the front looks cool, don't it? And you got the inside of it. You got something here. It's, it's just the advertisement. There's the inside of it. And this, or whatever this is, it's like Al Pacino is cruising for a killer. It's got like a bunch of other different movies on the back. I guess that's what that is. Yeah, I'm just excited to pop that in over there. Let's see what we got here. Ah, there's one other thing in this that I'll pull out later. We got Hair Razor 2, Hell Bound Hair Razor 2, Hell on Earth. Like the other one, this was released by the same company, Aero Video. And, uh, here's the back of it. Got the same special features, just loaded with special features. That's what I like. Seth one tells. Uh, I'm not even gonna worry about this. It's like the same thing I showed you before. Here's the inside of it. Let's see. It's the same as the back. Kind of like how Scream Factory does their stuff. That's kind of what this reminds me of. So kind of like what how Scream Factory would release their stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. As with the first one, it's got the same special features, director's commentaries, a brand new. Um, uncompressed PCM stereo 2.0 and lossless DTS HD MA 5.1 surround sound audio. That's pretty cool. Legends of Tomorrow, the fourth season that just came out. That's pretty cool. I like that series. It's part of the DC verse television, which I've always grown fonder for the DC t uh, TV shows than I did the Marvel shows. I don't know why. I think it's just. The Marvel shows are just more dramatic than anything else, which is weird. Like, I like the movies better than I do the Marvel shows. But I like both DC shows and the, the DC movies, even though they don't connect to each other. <laughs> Let's see. 
Here's the front. And here's the back. And it pretty much looks the same. On that. Here's the inside. Got a digital copy. And of course, the episode selection. And there's the inside of it. Just a two disc set. Say what you will about this, I loved it. No matter what anybody says, Child's Play, the new one, the remake. I mean, I'm not that nostalgic. I love the the, uh, the original ones, but this one did it pretty much justice. Yeah, I know a lot of people was ailed because it was Chucky's a machine in this, pretty much not possessed by a ghost of the serial killer. I mean, I can understand that, but I liked it. I still like this one. Here's the back. And pretty much looks the same, which I will not show you. We'll recycle the others. It's got a digital copy with it, and here's the inside. Not much to look at. It's just a Blu-ray digital copy. So, yeah. Can't wait. This, I got in like maybe two or three weeks ago. Let's see what we got here. It's Gotham, season five. I like this show. It shows like the origin of Batman, but the show focuses more on the police department and Batman's arch enemies on how they started, which is why I find this show really interesting. I'll take a good look at it there. That's the fifth season. There's the back. Of course, it's just the Blu-ray and digital, which I'm fine with. Be very careful. Not to scratch. I think I said this in one of my other videos. Half of those movies in the back I've had for over a decade. Still not a scratch. Because I'm the OG on that. <laughs> Alright. Here's the... You already seen that. Here's the inner cover of it, which kind of looks the same. Of course, it's got the digital code. Which I can't show it for legal reasons. <laughs> and there you go. It's a two-disc set. It doesn't have many episodes in it. Like the first four episode, first four seasons had like 20, 24 episodes. This one only has 12, which is sad because I guess that's how they always do final seasons now because... Every time they get to a final season, it's always the shortest. And that's sad, but if they end it properly, if they end a show of this magnitude or any show that's been on for a while, right, and with a with a good closing, that's fine with me. So, box this back up. Just back in there, lay that over here. And we've got the original Aladdin. I grew up on this bad boy, and let me tell you, I still don't get tired of it. I'm 32 years old now, and I still don't get tired of this. I mean, if you grew up with the same childhood I did, Aladdin is classic. And you just can't go wrong with that. And here's the inner cover of it, which looks the same. That's why I don't really spend that much time showing y'all the inner cover, because it looks the same. It's really no point. But it's the opening, opening experience is why y'all guys tune in for these, right? Admit it. Admit it. I'm just ready to pop one in. So, like, come here. Get out of there. You got the digital code and 
um, Disney Movie Club thing that they put in all their movies. Their, their movies. And this is a Blu-ray DVD digital combo. You got the inside there. So back in, and you got the new one, which I seen twice in theaters, and it was pretty good. A lot of people are saying that Will Smith wasn't the best genie. I kind of have to disagree. I think he did a really good job for the genie that he did. Yes, Robin Williams will always be the best. You can't beat him. But for what Will Smith did, because he did his own take, and that's how I choose to look at it. He did his own take. And Will Smith, he's one of those really big time actors. You can't really go wrong with him. He's a great actor. There's no other way I can put it. There's the inner cover. But I think he did a fair job as a genie in this. Second time I went with my family and they just, I've never, ever heard them ooh and ah and oh so much in a movie in my life and that's the type of an effect it had on all of us and that's a good thing so. and then like with the other it's a blu-ray and digital copy both the original and this one came out the same day which was last week i believe like i said each of these came out a week apart from each other both aladdin's came out the same day but again, since I love you guys so much, I wanted to put this video and I wanted to torture myself and wait for y'all. <laughs> Believe me, that wasn't easy to do. <laughs> Alright, so we got that one out of the way. And this one actually came out on the 17th. It wasn't the greatest, I do admit. A lot of crit critics bas bashed it. And I can understand, and, oh my god, I can't talk. And I can understand why. It wasn't the best, but it was watchable. I found some enjoyable moments in it. It's one of those movies that you can just turn your brain off and just enjoy for about two hours. Here's the inner cover. And this is just a Blu-ray uh, Blu and digital copy. Put that back up. And Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I love this one so much better than that 2014 piece of crap. I'm sorry to say it that way. I just did not enjoy that one that much. But this one definitely made up for it. There's the back. And the front. Blu-ray slash DVD and digital copy as well. Most most of every movie comes out that way, except for some of the Disney movies, which I don't understand why all of them just doesn't do it that way and make everybody happy. But I guess they got a reason why they do what they do. Who am I, could, who am I to question it? I got the Blu-ray, so I'm good. I decided to buy these like that. And I was really wanting, you know, here's John Wick 3 as well. And I was really hoping that they'd come out with a triple feature that had all three in one in a box like this. See, that way it saves room on your shelf. But they didn't do that for some reason. So I had to settle for this. First two separate from the third one. See, here's the back. Sorry about that, guys. And here's the front. Yeah, I like buying them that way, but they don't do that all the time, which annoys me, but oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. And they release it like this, see? Make sure none of it. Yeah. It's hanging loose. Hang it.
They got them like that. So I like them when they, I like, I'm so sorry guys, I'm trying so hard not to, like to where they fall out, because sometimes they get loose. And these are the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital combos. Like those. I hope you can see that. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying so hard not to let them fall out. Cause sometimes I do that. And I, just, ugh, I hate when they do that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. And as I showed you for, before, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Awesome movie. And here's the back. Close the inner cover. to hang on there sometimes. <laughs> Alright. As you can see. So yeah, I'm really looking forward. I think I watched this like two and a half, three times. And the reason why I say that is because the second time was with a friend and we had to leave because of some family emergency. I think we only got through like the first 20, 30 minutes before we had to leave. And then like the third time we finally finished it. Um, theater wise and even though I didn't think that highly of this one e either I got the first three so why the heck not <laughs> there's the front and there's the back like with Hellboy this movie went through so many problems producers getting in the way and all and it's like what the hell is happening to producers nowadays <laughs> I don't get it <laughs> it's like it was all about him. It wasn't, wasn't letting the director have a say or anything. You hire somebody to make a movie, let them do their thing for crying out loud. Blu-ray and DVD copy. Here, on the inside of it. So, yeah, I'm yeah, very excited. It was watchable. I mean, didn't have Tommy Lee Jones or Will Smith in it, but you know, it's all good. These are Chris. I like Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. They actually worked together in the MCU, so that's one thing I guess this movie had going for it. As far as everything else, you could tell it had a lot of problems. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. These last two are old, and I used to have them. Have no idea why I got rid of them, but I found them in the bargain bin. San Andreas. It's an earthquake movie. It's got Dwayne Johnson in it. That's pretty good. I haven't done a review for this one yet, but I plan on it once I get all this other stuff, the Rambo and everything done with. There's the back of it. And th this one doesn't have a digital copy, so it just has the DVD and Blu-ray in it. Which I'm fine with. I don't do the digital copy stuff. A lot of my friends does, but I just I haven't made that leap yet. I'm still old school that way. <laughs> if you want to call it that. And here's another one. The science fiction one's called Lucy. Um, she takes like this drug that makes her like superhuman and like a fighting machine and turns her almost into like anti-human. <laughs> just about. It's pretty good. Scarlett Johansson, she's a knockout. I'll just say that. She's a knockout. And like with the lap. And this one actually has got the digital code, but it's probably expired anyway. I'll just have to check later. It's got the DVD with it too. So yeah, you know, a good movie. I haven't done a review for that one, for this one yet either, but I plan on it. It's done by the same director that did that Anna movie, which to me not even worth buying. But it's done by Luke Besson. I done Anna here recently, and that one I'm not even gonna buy. You probably won't be seeing that one on my channel. All right, moving on. Last but not least, Spider-Man. 
This is actually a double feature of Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. I love it when they package it like this, and I'll tell you why. And here's the inside of it, the back side. The front. It's pretty much looks the same. Told you this was going to be a long ass video. <laughs> the digital copy with it and see like this you get the new one far from home and the other one homecoming and the reason why I like purchasing like this and why I wish every sequel movie would come just come out like this is because it saves room on your shelf and it really kind of disappointed me when the latest men in black movie was released I never saw a quadruple feature for it they had all four in one they never released it like that. Or with John Wick, they never made a triple feature of that either. Like the thin case with it like this, like with the flaps that they have in some, that's how I wish they would have done the John Wick and the Men in Black movies, but they never did that. Now I've got the triple feature of the first three Men in Blacks and that double feature of John Wick of the first two, but that's it. They never added the new ones to them, so I don't know why, but whatever. It is what it is. I got this, though. So that's all that matters for now. Now, if there's another version of those others that comes out with all of them in one, then yeah, I will be buying them. Thank you guys for watching this video. It is finally the end. Now, time to pop in these movies and enjoy the crap out of them. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like, subscribe, and get reputized as usual by clicking that bell icon. Make sure to click all so you don't miss any of my posts. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. The Joker review should be out by this weekend. So watch out for that. And peace to rip out.